here, Rachel. Hey, what you wearing? Well, I wanted to get all dressed up for story time today. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Can I do it too? Absolutely. Come pick something out. Okay, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm dressed and ready to read a story now. Me too. All this dressing up makes me think of this fantastic story about a naked mole rat who gets dressed. Oh, I thought naked mole rats were naked. Not this one. All right, sounds like fun. Let's go on a story safari. Story safari, story safari. We're going on a story safari. Today's book is Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they're a little bit mole. Three, they're all naked. Hmm. Well, they were with one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. Hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew, yuck, what are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I could be fancy, or funny, or cool, or I could just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic, and Grandpa did look regal, but he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ah, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked, naked mole, mole rats, rats don't wear clothes. Why not? Asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Grandpa was very wise. Hmm. He thought seriously about everything that he had heard. Ah. And then he thought some more. Hmm. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice. <coughs> Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. Well, when Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation! A proclamation! A proclamation! But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. He was just wearing socks. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, <laughs> Hello, naked mole rats. I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they 
may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then, Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. Three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exception. The end. Mo Willems is one of my favorite authors. If you like today's story, check out some of his other books available at the Fort Smith Public Library. Want to go on another story safari? Check out the library's YouTube channel.